Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. Today we're going to talk about homemade stain. Non-toxic, do-it-yourself wood stain. So if you've been following along with our journey, you would have heard that we burned with a flamethrower um, most of the middle pieces, all of the middle pieces of plywood, but we didn't want to burn the outside pieces that were already in place in the yurt because we didn't want to ruin the yurt fabric or walls or lattice. So we had to come up with a different strategy. We didn't want to use anything toxic because the fabric in the yurt would soak up any normal stains that you buy from the store. And we also like doing things ourselves and keeping things simple and cheap. So this is what we came up with. This is the stain that I made. It is a quart jar, mason jar, that I put a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder, half a cup of coffee and coffee grounds, and one to two tea bags, depending on how dark you want it. You could play around with this recipe and make it however dark you wanted it. I started off with just a fourth of a cup of coffee but decided I wanted it a little darker, so then ended up going a half a cup for the rest of them. So you can make it into a bigger jug. This is just the recipe that I decided to use that would work with my quart sized jars. So that was the amount that I put into one of these jars, fill the rest up with hot water, and that's it. When I put it on, I just poured it into just a little bowl here and I use these really cheap paint brushes stain brushes they were about a dollar and they work great you could get something a little bit better if you wanted but we're just trying to keep it simple it worked fine for me so you can see the difference here here's one that I already stained you can't really tell but when I put the uh, an extra scrap piece on top, you can get an idea of how much that actually did stain. Quite a bit. I think the look is really nice. It goes really well with the burnt look as well. The, um, as you get down to the bottom of the stain, you will run into the coffee grinds and the cocoa powder that didn't dissolve. And it will leave a little bit of, you can see it here, a little bit of the coffee grinds on the top. But it's really not a big deal because this isn't a, it's a this is a water-based stain. So it's easy to clean up afterwards. So just simply come through with a broom after you're done, sweep them up, and it's good. When I get down to about here, I, I'm sorry, about here, I usually will, maybe a little bit lower, I usually stop. Once I start noticing that my sponge is just completely filled with coffee grounds, I'll stop using that jar and move on to another jar. It's going great. We're almost finished. It smells delicious in here when I use the stain. It's non-toxic. It's food grade. I mean, we could eat it if we wanted to. So it's not, it doesn't have any worry. It doesn't give me any worry when I'm using it that I'm breathing in toxic fumes or anyone else in my family or that any toxic fumes are getting stuck into my yurt fabric. 
So we love it. We love the color that it gave us. And the next step is going to be using a beeswax coconut oil sealant on top. Another natural do-it-yourself sealant. So here you can see this spot is actually where I ran out and I needed, maybe you can't see. Well, I needed to do more right here. It's kind of hard to see because of the light coming in, but there is a difference. It looks really nice. So you can make your own stain, your own non-toxic stain. Everything that I made this stain out of, I had in my cabinets. I didn't even have to go buy anything. So really convenient. And I'm happy that we decided to go this route instead of using a store-bought toxic stain. So thanks for watching. Make sure you check out our other videos. We have a video on how we burnt the floors, the before and after of the wood pictures, as well as putting up the yurt and all kinds of videos on yurt living and homesteading and gardening and self-sufficiency and doing things yourself and as non-toxic as possible. So. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.